Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this video series, we are going to understand how to override the community signup page and create our own custom signup page. But before getting started, if you really feel these videos are helpful, I request you to please subscribe to this channel. So let's get started. So what I want is if you see this is a login page of a community. Now if user clicks on sign up, this is a page, but what I want to do is I want to build this custom page using lightning web component. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring, build my own LWC component and we are going to work on it and we are going to code so that the user is created at the backend. In this video, we are just going to talk about the approach, how things are happening at the backend and how we are going to do it. So understanding what sign up does is sign up creates a user, right? So if you go to any website, not only for communities, even if you go for Amazon, Flipkart or any other website, sign up means creating a user. Is creating a user, right? It creates user, your user at the backend. So that what, that's what is the basic idea of a sign up, right? It's a regularized idea of the sign up. So in community, the same way, in order to create a community user, first of all, you have to create the user at the backend. Now, in order to create the user, what we need to do is we need to go through the following steps. First, we need to create an account and fill up all the necessary details inside it. Now, once you have filled up all the necessary details inside it, go to the related list, create the contact. And once you create the contact with necessary details like phone number, email, address, and all this stuff, once you are done with it, Inside this contact page itself, you will be able to find out a, a button. Uh, right now, I'm not able to see it, but there is usually a button which will call as enable customer user. Once you click on it, automatically you will be redirected to the uh, user page. So I'll just switch to the classic because in classic, you can easily see this. So this is community user. If I click on it, there is an option called as manage external user and here you can queue right now. This is a custom community user, but you can get a button over here named as enable customer user. And as soon as you click on this enable customer user, what's going to happen is that you, you will be redirected to the user page where you will be creating a community user and that user will not be able to log into Salesforce, but he will be log able to sign up and log in to your communities that you have created. So if you think about it at the back end, what we need to do is we first need to create an account, right? Once the account is successfully created, then you need to create the contact. Now, once this contact is created, you need to create the user. Now, once user is created, it's done. That's it. That's what is the overall approach. First, you need to create an account, then contact. And finally, all the details using this contact, you need to create a user. So. One more thing that is uh, important is that uh, right now this is the user the community user is a is a part of a community user okay so if i go to this there is a small difference between a normal user and a community user which you can easily determine which will be able to which you will be able to uh, use to find out which is a community user and which is a normal user okay so now if i go and search for the community user So this is a community user. If you go to the user detail, now the basic difference behind the normal user and the community user is you can see a contact. A normal user who will who will be logging into the Salesforce itself won't have this contact field populated, but the community user will have this contact field populated. Not only this, while creating a community user, you won't get any option to add a role inside it. So role will be auto determined based on the account you are creating. Okay, right now it's just uh, there is no role. It actually even if I edit it, I won't be able to add any role. So the basic agenda behind creating a community user is create an account, create a contact, create a user and attach the contact to this user. So this is the basic idea behind it. That's what we have to do it using Apex and code and everything. So if you see while creating a community user, I do not get the option to add role. 
so this is what the overall approach is in the next few videos we are going to build uh, a sign up page which will be overridden with the community sign up page so if you found this video helpful i request you to please subscribe to this channel